Hey everybody, I'm Autistic Game Guy, and welcome to the finale of Mega Man. This is the episode where I get slaughtered. <laughs> this stage is actually the easiest one out of all the Wily Castle stages, I believe. It's not my enemies, and most of it is actually just a straight line. I'm not kidding. Most of it's actually just a straight line. So, uh, for most of the stage, for how short it is, I will just stand still and shoot. And that is it. <laughs> that is it! That's all I need to do! The penguins will keep dropping energy so I can get my health back up to full. And I just have to wait it out. <laughs> Again, this is supposed to be the second to last Wily Castle stage of the game. And yet, in my opinion, this stage is the easiest stage out of the entire game. The entire game. Wily, what is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, I guess the only thing that's truly really hard is you have to get used to the fact that the water has a current. But even, even with that, the water itself pushes you to about walking speed when you're standing still, so. Anyway, here's the boss! I don't know the name of this boss, because, well, the names of the bosses are actually shown in Mega Man Powered Up. But this one is just a bunch of numbers and letters. I think it's like CWP and then some kind of three number thing, I don't know. Basically, a whole bunch of junk looking robots and bubbles will come out of these holes and just you have to shoot them. And the movie destroy the faster the new ones come in. Um, this is actually the only boss I can act actually beat fully legit in this playthrough. Um, when the sound of that health, they'll start becoming too fast to fire and dodge effectively with the Mega Buster, as you don't have the water physics of later games. So, uh, Super Arm will take care of the boss incredibly easily. Also, I love that pose. I'm glad the stage ends immediately after killing the last one. It's amazing. Anyway, enjoy the stupidest death in the entire game. To explain what happened there, um, I bring up on this one before, but this game, just like Sonic 1, has a spike glitch, where Mega Man will take damage from spikes, even though he has invincibility frames. It's only in this game. And unlike Sonic, spikes for Mega Man are instant death! So, uh, don't land in spikes. Spikes are safe to land on if you have invincibility frames in later entries, but they're always used to kill in this game, so, uh, I'd be really careful. This room is, uh, kind of weird because, uh, there's a little bit of foreshadowing. You see all those Gutsmans that are just up there on the wall? Um, it's, it's believed that Wily has some sort of love for Gutsman. Maybe a bit too much. This is the only time it shows up in this game, but, uh, it gets worse. It gets worse. <laughs> Next two games will definitely show how bad it can get, and, uh, I can't wait till you guys see seven. Now, uh, I'm cheating here with the magnet beam, because A, might as well, and B, I'm not doing that legit, I'm not laying in the spikes and doing the entire thing again. Heck no! But, uh, as we get to the boss rush, um, oh dear. I'm gonna get slaughtered here. This is where most of my deaths come in. But I want to explain what that red thing was. I don't know the name of it. It appears very little in the Mega Man series. That's the only time it appears in the first game. And it refills everything. All your health, all your weapon energy, everything. So, uh, you'll need it. Trust me. Because, uh, this boss rush is no cakewalk. Now, when I mentioned that you can just stand here and, uh, Blast Fireman. Eh, uh, don't do that here. Note how I'm at very little health. Anything can kill me. And anything will kill me. So, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the death montage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That's fair. Mm -hmm. This is the only game to my knowledge where the projectiles don't disappear after um, killing a robot master or other boss. So, uh, yeah. We'll be seeing a little glitch with that later on. Because in my original playthrough, I actually had a recording where the uh, game actually glitched and uh, would not let me progress anymore. It was a soft lock. I, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. That is the only time I'm using Hyper Bomb in this entire game. If it acted more like it doesn't power up or it explodes on contact, I would have definitely used it more, but it runs on a timer and eh, it's just not that useful. Anyway, Wily Machine number one! Now, because there's a um, weapon energy capsule and because I have so little health, well. This boss has two phases because it's the final boss. The first phase is weak to Firestorm. Aim for the cannon that's shooting at the projectiles and you'll take it out pretty quickly. The projectiles aren't super hard to dodge, but you might get caught in a place where you're not going to be able to dodge them easily. The second phase is the big bulk of this fight. Use the rolling cutter to deal damage. Every weapon to my knowledge does one damage to the robot. I call it a robot by doing more of a giant mech. I mean, this is the ultimate combat robot, according to Dr. Wily. Now, uh, you can hit the boss multiple times with the rolling cutter. Up to three, in fact. Aim like it lucky. And that's it. That's the boss. Now, the actual attempt, I do end up trying the same strats that I end up using in the alternate, I, uh, I don't know how to describe it, the alternate, I did it version? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But, um... This is the version that does use the pause trick, but I did try legit! Um, I was think- I was a- uh, I knew that the first phase was weak to Firestorm, but I forgot what the second phase was weak to, so I just started trying weapons. I knew it wasn't Hyperbomb, because Hyperbomb is freaking useless. <laughs> and, uh, Super Arm does nothing. So I tried doing it, found that this was actually working really well! But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, these spinning balls of death are really hard to dodge, and I have zero lives, I'm not doing well before again, so DIE! <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm sheeping out on this, because honestly, yeah. Do you want to see me do everything in Wily 4 again? I don't think so. Because that'd be like 20 more deaths in the death montage, because half of that was just luck. That's right, Wily, beg for forgiveness. It's not like you're going to do this at least 10 more times. <sighs> Get used to saying that, by the way. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mega Man. I didn't mean to do anything bad. Please forgive me. Sorry, Club Man, I had to steal it, because it was... It's way too funny! So, uh... <laughs> anyway, on to... THE GLITCH! So, remember when I mentioned that boss projectiles don't go away whenever you kill them? It knocked me back to the door, which apparently started working again. Somehow. Help! Mega Man has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight Mega Man for everlasting peace! Everyone says it like that because honestly, who does it? It's a great way of saying that line. Anyway, that's the end of Mega Man 1. And for those of you who played Mega Man 2, which I'm guessing is all of you, you under you actually know where the tune is from. They reused part of the credit theme for the opening cinematic of Mega Man 2. I call it a cinematic, but really it's just an intro. <laughs> more than anything else. But um we have a little bit of time in the credits, I want to explain a couple things. One, after the credits, if you press the start button, you'll be warped back to the uh, level select, where you can actually start the one features all over again. Um, you can also do this in 2, which just leads you back to the title screen, so you can select your difficulty and play again, but honestly, what's the point? They eliminate this feature after 3, I think. You don't see it again until 7. And 7, I think, is just because of the password, so... Even then, I don't even know if you can get out of the credits for the start button. But, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna explain the glitch real quick. And the glitch, as I am... somewhat... I'm not educated on it, but I know a little bit of something. The way this game works is the boss projectile knocked me back. Mega Man got hit from the boss projectile, and I couldn't do anything about it because Mega Man's controls lock up for the ending, so you can't move around during the ending. 
And as a result, I got launched back in the door, which got unlocked because the boss was dead, therefore, make the door actually functioned again. And the way the screen wrapped and loaded things, it didn't really work very well. And, uh... I kind of got soft lock and a glitchy mess because it loaded a different tile set. And I couldn't move. So, uh... I was stuck. Imagine playing the game and you get soft locked like that. You wasted all that time playing Mega Man 1. I had to start all the way back from the beginning because you soft locked the ending. <sighs> anyway, that's it for Mega Man 1! It's finally over! Next up, Mega Man 2. One of my least favorite Mega Man games. Cue the comments section having a massive fit. We'll see you guys on Friday.